Okay, now that we've exported our PNG sequence, uh, we're ready to take it into Unreal Engine as a composure element. So I just downloaded this level from the Unreal Engine marketplace. It was on the free for a month, one month. Um, so it's really beautifully made, big star station. And it was just, yeah, quite a recent creation. So I thought I'd just use this as the background for now. And let's just look at getting this media sequence into here. So I'm going to go content, uh, make a new folder called compositing. And then in that, I'm going to go media, image media source, because I'm doing a series of images. I'm going to call this PNG sequence one. Like that. And to find these files, we can go here, sequence path, and find where you exploit them to. So here we got that folder. And we're going to select, select the first in the folder and open that. If you go open current media, you can see the sequence. Uh, so we need to set the frame rate. Uh, I don't know what frame rate, frame rate this was actually shot at, so I'm just going to gonna set this uh, frame rate if I go details panel advanced frame rate override I can set this a little higher just had to hit that reopen but yeah that's looking good now I can go media media player and the video texture asset and in that media player I'm gonna load the PNG sequence save that set it to loop and there we got that little clip and now we've got this texture asset which is gonna go into composure so now I can do all my normal composure setup. I can create an empty comp shot. And I can add my media plate. And then as part of this media plate input, we can grab this media source we set here. And now that's there. If we add another layer element, add our LCG element and add a camera for it and quickly set up our transform pass. get a CG layer and just a talent layer, do an over node, do an over, uh, grab the RGBA, we're putting our talent over our CG, I can put this in a missive color, and set our input elements. To add this alpha channel onto this media plate, we can create a bit of a key material. So this is just going to take the original material and just add the alpha channel. Uh, so we can create a new material for this. We can call it TP uh, Alpha Alpha Edition, maybe. And this is the transform path, so it's going to be a post process. And we're going to do the texture sample. And we can just call this pre pass. I'm going to set this to output alpha. We need that alpha channel. And we can grab the A and the RGB. So check that this pre pass is hooked up. Yes, it is. You would think that you would use media texture compositing input. What you can actually do is just do a texture input and you can grab that uh, texture output that we've got here. Uh, I'll call it um, P underscore media output. So the texture for the media input uh, we can put in here in the player. And now we can check that we've got the alpha channel by going here and just checking this alpha box. You can see we've got the transparency, so that's awesome. And even after you've done your keying in After Effects, if you're not happy with it, see I've got this kind of haloing around here. You can even use tools within Unreal Engine. It's got keying, keying tools as part of Composure. Uh, under this chroma keying section, you've actually got a despill and you've got an erode. So I'm going to use this erode alpha. So it's already set to take the pre pass. I can just up that kernel size, just getting rid of that kind of odd edge. So that's looking much better. And then now we have a beginnings of a comp. Got the really nice key over the top of the footage. So next up, I'll show you how to uh, place this in here a bit better with uh, post-process materials and focus pools and things like that. So we'll go into that in the next one. Cheers.